All right, so this is a good one. Hello, how do you hack a car? So there's a lot of ways of hacking a car, and this one I think deserves a response, mostly, be oh, ah. um, mostly because uh, this has become a lot easier. So uh, hacking a car used to be like having to figure out like the specifics of a vehicle, like you know, like finding out what software it's running, figuring out how to maybe unlock it. And there's people who steal cars, and they will typically do it by relaying a key fob or taking advantage of the like keyless entry. Uh, or other things where you don't need to actually plug the key in, in in order to start the car. It just has to be close enough to indicate that it's okay to start the vehicle and then just drive off with it. But typically, most of the uh, most of the car hacking I see nowadays is done through the built-in systems in the car. So that means that it's relatively easy to um, find out, for example, by a vehicle's VIN, like what types of uh, information you can pull from the car and maybe even open it, and in some cases, drive away. So that's because these telematics that are installed in the vehicle um, are often installed by default, and they are really difficult to turn off. Like it was pretty recently that somebody went through the process of trying to disable um, Toyota's information collection, and it really made a huge stink about it when you tried to disable it, and also disabled legitimately useful features like being able to call 911 and uh, to tell them your location. So in order to disable this information sharing and all this stuff that often has poorly secured third-party APIs, um, it's quite a pain for most consumers. So they don't do it. So newer cars can typically be hacked by looking at the APIs that the vehicles interact with and then seeing if there's ways of abusing them. And researchers have found repeatedly that these third-party services like OnStar and others um, really don't put a lot of effort into the security. and. Uh, of their services. And you can often do things like use the vehicle's VIN number, which is visible from the outside of the car, to potentially unlock the vehicle or do other things, including getting information about where the car is. So that's all very creepy, uh, but car hacking is definitely more web application pen testing than it used to be. So super interesting if you are uh, particularly fascinated with car hacking, you might also be interested in some of the features that are now built into modern cars, super hard to opt out of, and allow an attack surface that might allow you to use some skills you might not have thought would be uh, useful for hacking cars, like you know web application pen testing.